Okay, this is the video lecture for Sissonville High School, part one of the psychological effects of humor. And this is a unit that I think is kind of fun. It's one that I've done in a couple of my classes now. It's nothing that you'll find in your book, so you'll want to take notes. You're not going to have to write some of this stuff down, and I'll kind of I'll let you know as we go, really kind of what you need to focus on. Um, but I'm a big believer in humor, um, it, laughing at jokes, having a good time, can really increase your physical wellness as well as your mental wellness. So we're going to talk a little bit about that here uh, at the end of our unit. So get ready to take some notes. Uh, this is one you'll want to write down, and you will uh, you can obviously stop this. You can pause it as you need to if you want to jot some notes down. Take pictures of the slides with your phone if you want to, if you want to study this in that way. Uh, but at any rate, humor and laughter are being increasingly used in a variety of therapy situations. I know as a psychologist, I've used ther uh, I've used humor in some of my therapy sessions uh, to try to uh, alleviate some situations. And you have to be careful. I can't. You don't want to use humor if someone is like significantly depressed or if they've, you know, if they're suicidal. You don't want to be cracking jokes trying to make people laugh. But in the right circumstances, it can be a very effective tool. Uh, there's been some research into the use of humor in therapy, and we're starting to understand that, that humor has the power to reduce stress and anxiety, as well as improve one's overall sense of well-being. You do not have to write these jokes down, by the way, uh, but just to kind of see if it works. Maybe you'll chuckle at a few of these. What do you get when you cross a Tyrannosaurus Rex with fireworks? Dramatic pause. Dynamite. Get it? Okay. Which side of a cheetah has the most spots? Any guesses? The outside. Okay, maybe that wasn't really funny. What did the elder chimney say to the younger chimney? You're too young to smoke. Eh. Probably some of you are rolling your eyes right now, and that's 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 that's, that's fine. But you're probably chuckling just a little bit, even if you're laughing out of, you know, sarcasm or just like, you know, whatever. Why does a moon rock taste better than an earth rock? Because it's a little meteor. Get it? Meteor. Meteor. Okay. And I'm actually going to skip through a couple of these. Here's one of my favorites. What do you call a psychic midget who has escaped from prison? You have to think about this one for a few minutes. A psychic midget who has escaped from prison. A small, medium, at large. Get it? Think about it. The midget part, small. Psychic is called a medium. If you escape from prison, you are at large. So, again, I know some of you are probably rolling your eyes, but you're probably at least smiling, hopefully, or chuckling a little bit. And hopefully you're going to feel a little bit better at the end of some of these. What kind of music do chiropractors listen to? Hip-hop. Get it? Okay, a few more, and then we'll, we'll get on to some other things. What's the last thing that goes through a bug's mind when it hits a windshield? It's butt. Yeah, I know, right? A magician was driving down the road. Then he turned into a driveway. That's pretty much the joke. He's a magician, so he turned himself into a driveway. So you were waiting for a punchline, weren't you? What happened when the butcher backed into his meat grinder? He got a little behind in his work. Okay, you're probably getting tired of these. A few more then, then we'll move on to some more serious note taking. Again, I've used humor in my classes for 16, 17 years. And I know some of the jokes and the stories that I tell are going to not be super funny. Some of them are funny. Some of them are just kind of like corny, like the ones I've, I've shown you so far. But it does get... It does kind of change the mindset of, of, of students in the class. It relaxes them. It reduces some stress a little bit. I've noticed that when I use humor before a big assignment or before an exam, it kind of puts students in a better place mentally. 
uh, to maybe do better, to perform more efficiently. So, I don't know. We'll see. Headlines with Jay Leno. This is, this is something that I enjoyed when he hosted The Tonight Show. Um, some of these are really funny. He always pulls out headlines. I think he did it every Monday on his show. And these are legitimate headlines that were in newspapers, magazines, etc. And he would kind of make fun of them. Teens can't afford to drive drunk. Well, I would hope not. That's not super funny. I'm not going to lie, this one made me laugh hysterically. Um, can you imagine it's Christmas time and you're trying to figure out what to buy for the family? Um, how about getting pictures with drunk Santa and his naughty helpers? And you can see the image there. That just, uh, yeah, I can see my wife being okay with me doing that, not. Um, it's just made me, made me laugh. Uh, this is a, <laughs> this makes me laugh every time I see it. Um, you want to beat prices in a tough economy? Are you going to call Bryant Williams or are you going to call Sherry Cook? I think I would rather call Mr. Williams. Uh, Sherry looks a little upset. So again, why would you <laughs> why would you want that picture of yourself up there? I don't know. Maybe this was an error or somebody lost a bet or something happened there. Um, Mr. Hill's back door big bottom sale. Sometimes this stuff you just can't you can't write it any better. My very favorite one: uh, Texas A&M College of Medicine preventing motion sickness during holiday travel. Now I've heard of motion sickness. I know what that is. I want to know what this is about, or maybe I don't want to know what this is about. But at any rate, I'm sure that was not supposed to be there. Somebody got tired of filling out the labels at Walmart or wherever this store is. Maybe they didn't know how to spell banana, so they just put in long yellow things. <laughs> 78 cents a pound. So, anyway, I'm going to kind of fast forward through some of these others here. Okay, so we're, we're getting the idea. I'm going to adjust my camera just a little bit here. Let's make sure we can capture all the images. Now, this is one that you'll want to capture with your phone or um, take some notes on. Laughter is very good for your health. Again, even corny jokes like the ones that I've told you so far can make you feel better. It can actually have these can actually have positive impacts on your body. Laughter relaxes the entire body. A good hearty laugh relieves physical tension and stress and leaves your muscles relaxed for 45 minutes after the fact. It also boosts the immune system. Laughter decreases stress hormones and increases immune cells and infection fighting antibodies. So essentially laughing increases your resistance to disease. Who knew? Laughter triggers the release of endorphins. Endorphins are the body's feel-good chemical. Um, they promote an overall sense of well-being. They can even temporarily relieve pain. Um, if some of you are athletes, I know, um, if you've ever run track, there's something called runner's high. Um, when you run so much, you get to the point where you just you feel really, really good. Those endorphins are kicking in. So, so those of you who have played sports, maybe you've experienced this. Uh, laughter also protects the heart. A laughter improves the function of blood vessels and increases blood flow, which can protect you against a heart attack and other cardiovascular problems. So we see all kinds of good things and benefits from, from laughter. Uh, another one that you're going to want to jot down or capture with your phone if you would rather do that. Uh, the link between laughter and mental health. Laughter uh, continued here. Laughter dissolves distressing emotions. You can't feel anxious, angry, or sad when you're laughing. It's like just about not possible. Um, so it negates those feelings, even if it's temporarily. Uh, laughter helps you relax and recharge. It reduces stress. It increases energy. Uh, it can help you focus and accomplish more. Uh, humor can also shift your perspective. Uh, it allows you to see situations in a more realistic and less threatening light. Uh, humorous perspective creates psychological distance, which, which can help you avoid feeling overwhelmed. Uh, I can think of a lot of situations, a lot of times where I felt really upset, maybe even angry, maybe just weird about a situation. And um, if I laugh, if somebody can get me to laugh and I'm, I can enjoy myself a little bit, it actually has shifted my perception of the situation, uh, which has actually changed the way that I feel. So all kinds of good benefits uh, from humor. We're going to call this the end of part one for this lecture. Thanks.